Hey guys, welcome to the Poppy Seed channel. So today we are going to cover what is Rust Links, how to set it up and what is it. So it's a basically a repository on GitHub that you can use for tracking your changes and basically to improve your Rust skills because you are rusty. <laughs> yeah, anyways, let's get into it. So what are we going to do is going to go to Rust links and you're going to click on the first link here. Uh, the link is going to be in the description. And now you are in the repository of Rust links. So what you're going to do here is to actually fork this repository. Um, repository, you can call it whatever you want. You have to have your GitHub account and you create a fork. Now this will take some while. Okay, so now that you have your repository forked, you will take this link here. So go on code and git clone and copy this link here. Okay, so now let's go to the terminal and go into a folder or let's make a folder let's go into it and write on your terminal git clone and paste the link so now this rust links has been copied to your terminal amazing okay let's go into it Cool. So let's open it with Visual Studio Code. And here we can see a bunch of files. And the important stuff here is the exercises you can see here. Here you can see a bunch, a bunch of exercises from if functions, hash maps, macros, options, strings, threads, etc. So all of these files here are basically exercises you can do. Okay, great. So now that we have installed the repository, let's go here where, where it says manual installation. Here we can say, we can type now cargo install force path. Amazing. So let's go. Let's open the terminal here and type cargo install force path. Okay, great. So now what we did is install the, all the dependencies that we need for this repository. The next thing we are going to do is install Rust links. And this command is going to be here. This adds it to your path as well as install, installs it from this uh, resource. Amazing. So we now installed Rust links. And to get started, we just type Rust links. OK, thanks for installing Rust links. Is this your first time? Don't worry. OK, great. So let's go now to our rustlings directory and type rustlings watch. Okay, so it says it successfully ran exercises intro intro one dot rs and it says hello and welcome to rustlings. This exercise is compiled successfully. OK, good. The remaining exercise contain a compiler or logic error. The central concept behind Rust is to fix these errors and solve the exercises. The source for this exercise is in exercises intro intro one dot rs. Let's find it. So if we go to exercises, here we have a lot of files and we go into intro intro one dot rs you can see here the same exact stuff 
with print ln that has printed here. And this is the text that is printed. Okay, great. So here, if we go and read here, it says you can keep working on this exercise or jump into the next one by removing I am not done comment. Okay, let's see what happens when we remove this comment. So it says the compiling of this exercise failed. And now we have gone actually to the next exercise. And this exercise is here. So it says here, make the code print a greeting to the world. Execute Rustling's intro, intro to use hint WhatsApp command for a hint. Okay, let's try it. Hint, add an argument after the format string. So we managed to compile this and now we can again remove I am not done and click save. And now we go on to the next exercise and next exercise and so on and so on. Okay, so when you'll be finished with the exercises, let's update them to our Git repository. So for that, we'll do Git status. And now we'll see all the exercises that have been modified and use git add dot. This will add everything. And now write git push. So with this, we conclude our wrestling's tutorial.